Welcome. Welcome to another episode of See Your Tease. I am Chris Rogers. And I am an action-oriented superhero, Tracy Shackleford. Absolutely. Absolutely. I I'm mean, surprised. I do the parkour in my, my free time. Yeah. And I'm surprised you're not wearing your cape today. Well, you know, here's the thing with capes. Yeah. They can get stuck in places you don't want them to. Like jet engines, apparently. Like jet engines, yeah. ladders, uh-huh. uh, the tops of buildings. Yep. Gargoyles holding swords. Uh, uh, the tail fin of a missile. Oh, yeah. I've had that happen before. Yeah, that's the worst. Yeah, that is the worst. Let me tell you. Okay, so welcome. Hey. Um, I hope you did your homework. I did. did. You, did you watch Dungeons & Dragons? <laughs> yes, I did. Yeah. Um, the, it's, it's, it's such a good movie. It is. It didn't get the credit that I think it deserved. Um, I agree. I I think that uh, it should have gotten more. I think uh-huh. that when they expand the verse, make the whole universe. Yeah, that they're talking about doing. Yeah, the TSR verse. Okay. I think um, that will help help a lot. Well, what scared me is it just didn't make a lot of money. Yeah, and that's usually bad for movies. Well, that's the main motivation for making sequels. Yeah. Well, I mean, and there's 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 enough evidence, I feel, that a movie can come, that you can help a movie by throwing a sequel at it. Yeah. And also that a movie, in its initial the- theatrical offering, if it doesn't do well, doesn't mean it will not be successful. That's true. And, I mean, there is talk of, uh, I don't know how firm the talk is, of them making a and d based streaming service. Really? Yes. The hell are you going to do with that? Um, I, well, I don't know. I mean, you're going to have shows like Critical Role and uh, well, how do you pick the Dungeon a... Run and things like that. And then you have... Uh, if I don't have a D20 that helps me pick to watch what I want to watch, yeah, I'm going to be upset. Like, I want I want to actually... That would be, that have would be good. Full-on roll that's on my screen. Yeah. And you, whatever you roll is what, what it picks for you, and that's what you watch. Yeah. Or everyone that's in the room can roll for initiative, and then that person gets to pick. Yeah, that would be cool. So, uh, if you if you did your homework, I hope you did. Uh, you saw Dungeons and Dragons. Yes. Um, Chris Pine, excellent, excellent movie. Hugh uh, Jackman. No, no. Grant. Yes. Okay, I was close. Yeah. Not really. <laughs> Same guy. Same first name, and that's where the similarities end. One's Australian, one's British. Yes. Same thing. One is tough guy. The other one is a little bit foppish. Identical. Yeah. They're basically both. Okay. Uh, <laughs> one's a <laughs> X Men. The other one is a new bullet bug. Uh, look. Okay. Or will be soon. Allegedly. I saw the trailer. <laughs> you saw a trailer? Yeah, I know. I, I, well, it was at the beginning of a movie. Uh, that's true. When we went to see the Marvels. Uh, usually you cover your eyes when we see the Marvels. I, eh. In the theater, I'll watch them in the theater. That's the only time I'll watch them. Okay, okay, okay. Because I don't want to sit in the theater and shut my eyes and stick my fingers in my ears and go la 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 la. So yeah, awkward for everyone. Yeah, exactly. Same in real life. <laughs> <laughs> I kid, I kid. Uh, okay, so today we are getting into our list. Uh, if you're new to the show, mm-hmm. uh, we have made a list of movies, broken it down by genre. Uh, that. You should see if you want to be culturally literate. Amen and hallelujah. So it's not necessarily a list of the best movies. This isn't our top ten. Uh, it's way more than ten movies, but um, I I think it would be close. I could probably pick from this list and create close to my top ten. There's a few of my favorite action adventure movies. We're doing the action adventure genre today. Yeah. Um, there's a few of my favorite action adventure movies that are not on this list. Um, however, uh, that is, uh, that's not what this list is. It's about being culturally literate. It's about the movies either are in the lexicon. They're either discussed a lot, like a water cooler kind of talk. Yeah. Or they informed other things. Yeah. You know, like Waterworld. No. Everyone talks about that all the time. No. Yeah, I've heard it. Uh, unless they're having a conversation about how bad movies are. Look, haters are going to hate. Yes. Right? Yes. And, and this is coming from somebody who enjoys Ice Pirates. It's true. 
and Waterworld. Not. Uh, you know what's funny about Waterworld? The stunt show at Universal Studios is way more successful. Oh yeah, than the movie. More people have seen it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But before we get to action adventure, okay, uh, it is gobble gobble time. Are we taking a sidebar? Yeah, we are. Well, okay. we we promised them that we would give them a short Thanksgiving list, and this is this is short. This We're not even short. kidding. No, like, it's, it's not. It's three movies. It's three movies, and we've all seen one of them. Yes. I. I yeah, yeah. I don't I think mean, anyone has actually seen all three of them. I see. Everyone except Chris. I've seen all three movies. No one except Chris has seen all three movies. Uh, probably. No one except Chris and two of his children have seen all three movies. <laughs> no, I don't know that. All, I don't. I don't know. Hey, I think Chris, I have children that have not seen any of these movies. Chris is the only one who's seen all three of these. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Okay. So let's get going. So the first one is is of our Thanksgiving movies. Um, we didn't create a. Uh, we didn't create a rubric like we did for Christmas movies. You can't. But these are definitely Thanksgiving movies. This is our Thanksgiving list. Yeah. Uh, and there were a number of movies that took place on Thanksgiving. Yeah, but they weren't Thanksgiving movies. But they weren't Thanksgiving movies. Uh, but I think these three definitely are. Yes. And there's probably more that are definitely Thanksgiving movies. Like, I think there was one with Sarah Jessica Parker. Like, the... The Family Stone, I think, was... Yeah. But I, when I looked, searched for movies and Thanksgiving and all of that, it didn't even come up. I think that takes place between the holidays. Is it? More. Okay. But anyway, let's get into this list. Okay, because we we want to... We have a big list. We the do. Action Adventure list is long. That's so what she said. We want to make... Okay. Uh, we want to make sure we get to everything. So the first movie in the Thanksgiving list is Freebirds. I've never seen this it's movie. an animated movie about turkeys. No one has ever seen Some of them movie. have red heads, some of them have blue heads. And it's turkeys that are trying to get free because they're worried they're going to get killed okay. because Thanksgiving is This Thanksgiving. movie is for one demographic. Children. Children. Absolutely it's for children. But it is a Thanksgiving movie. Okay. And it's cute. Okay. Not great, but it's cute. Okay. Okay, the second movie I actually really enjoyed. Okay. I, I like it a lot. It is uh, Dutch. I like Dutch. And it is, doesn't, it takes place sort of in the lead up to Thanksgiving. Yes. The end of it is Thanksgiving. Uh-huh. Um, and it is about uh, a man picking up his stepson from a, like, prep school. Yeah. Um, to go home for the holidays. And he's like this, it's played by Ed O'Neill, the, and his name's Dutch. That's the name of the film. Yeah. And it's uh, he's like a very blue-collar, kind of tough guy. Yeah. You know, manly man. Nice. He's not mean or anything. He's just, you know, kind of set in his ways and that. And his wife wants him to go pick up her son. Yeah. And the son is kind of a fancy lad, bratty, kind of a jerk, kind of a pain in the butt kid well he's a he's a teenager who doesn't get along with his parents yes i'm just checking to see if this was a john hughes movie because it sounds like a john hughes I movie. i don't and i don't know i don't think it is i'm gonna look also chris right now is really screwing up our list i just want to let you know that am i yeah check check your phone <gasps> oh my goodness <laughs> I, oh wow i'm uh i'm i'm wow uh... i really am screwing up the list because uh... i'm dictating as we go yeah i can fix it so, oh, okay. So this is, it's directed by Peter Feynman. Yep. And it is written by John Hughes. Oh. This well, is John Hughes Good movie. on you. I thought it was a John Hughes movie. So it is a John Hughes written movie. Yeah. But not directed. You know, the only thing I remember about this movie are the uh, fireworks. They take him to a fireworks stand mm-hmm. in the middle of like Montana or something. Yep. And like then that. he sets him off in the field. Sets the him snow. off in the field. And then, uh, and then the porn cards. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's this. it's a really good movie. Yeah. It's funny. Um it uh yeah, it's it's a really good movie. It has a feel good ending. It does. And uh it's fun and it's good Thanksgiving. Movie. Yeah. Very, very uh, so and then the final movie is the big one. Yeah. It's the, the, the King Kamehameha of Thanksgiving movies. Yes. And that's Plane Trains and Automobiles. Love this movie. And if you haven't seen it, I don't what are you doing with your life, honestly? It's Steve Martin and John Candy at their best. At their absolute best yeah so good so definitely check it out um yeah you should watch it if you haven't seen it you should watch it if you haven't seen it in a while you go should watch, watch it. it yeah 
Um, and uh, I don't know where it. I forgot to check where it was streaming. Hold on, I'll tell you. I'll but, tell uh, you. It is. Yeah, it's an excellent movie. It's got a feel good ending. It is all about trying to get home for Thanksgiving, and uh, it's pretty pretty amazing okay so right now it's 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 everywhere it's on the fubu yeah it's on the paramount plus okay it's on the showtime oh wow yeah uh it's on the uh, pluto tv everyone's favorite streaming service okay allegedly Uh uh-huh but uh yeah go check out this movie please yeah if you haven't seen it see it definitely it's uh it's it's very good uh and we'll and i think is on our comedy list as well absolutely just in its own right apart from being a thanksgiving movie is an excellent comedy it's one of the funnier movies ever made and it has some really classic lines yes i mean chris and i use the lines on each other very very quotable (laughs) those aren't pillows um okay so now we're going to get into the action adventure list. Yeah, thus completes so, our. Yeah, thus completes the Thanksgiving <laughs> list. If you have other Thanksgiving films that are staples that you watch around Thanksgiving, let us know. Yeah, uh, add us and, and uh, tell us, please. So, uh, here we go. So to start the list off, we start with their homework. Yes, and that was Dungeons and Dragons. Yes, while probably not uh, necessary to be culturally literate, right? It should be. Well, it is. It's quotable. Yeah. And there, it is, there are references in it to past D&D properties. Yeah. I don't want to give too much away. Uh, but, and it's really well done. And you should definitely see it. it. In my book, it might be the best action adventure movie of 2023. Potentially. Yeah. I mean, I I enjoyed, like, the MCU movies that came out. Yeah. uh, But this one was unique, Mm -hmm. right? It was something we hadn't seen before. I mean, the plot is is very used. But but the movie itself was different, right? Well, it was was different, but it was based on property that many of us are familiar with. Yeah. Uh, But different in its own way and i i it was kind of a new twist and yeah i i really enjoyed it i've seen it a couple of times yeah and it doesn't get old no okay so moving on number two mm-hmm. indiana jones all of them all of them all of them i think originally we would have said just one two and three yeah and crystal skull at that point we kind of would have liked to have forgotten about However, since Dial of Destiny came out, which is an amazing movie, sure, really enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. There are things that you need to you need to see Crystal Skull in order to get the full enjoyment out of Dial of Destiny. Yeah, so we're gonna say them all, all, all five. Sure, all five Indiana Jones movies, and if there's a sixth, we'll add that one into. I don't know if there's gonna be a sixth. There's some talk. He's so old. I don't know that it will include Harrison Ford. Okay, so I don't know. This movie made me feel old when I watched it. It did. It did. Um, yeah. I mean, John Reese davies made me feel really old yeah. when he came on screen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, holy cow. But, you know, I did get a little bit of an old guys can do it too vibe. Yeah. Because he's still doing it. He is still doing it. But he's still, you know. You know, it's, it's, uh, he's got to run out of money eventually, right? To be on his jet setting ways. Is he, though? Well, he's just a teacher. I, how's he doing that with his teacher salary, Chris? Well, he's a he's a university professor, yeah. and maybe they used to pay them more in the fifties and sixties. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Anyway, uh, we got to <laughs> keep moving. Uh, uh, okay, Rambo one and two, excellent, excellent movie. Uh, First Blood. Yeah, and then uh, Rambo. Yeah. Uh, great movies. I just rewatched uh, Rambo. Yeah. The second movie. Yeah. And it's good. Yeah. It's really good. It holds up. Yeah. John Rambo was, he, he was given the shaft. Yes. He was. But he kept coming back. He did. Yeah. Um, Real American. Okay. Next, we have The Mummy 1 and 2. The Brendan Fraser ones. Brendan Fraser. Yeah. Uh, who is an American treasure. Indeed, he is. Yes. He is an American treasure. Uh, and the first two movies are great. Yeah. The third movie. As much of a Michelle Yeoh fan yeah. as I am, yeah. Uh, when they got rid of uh, Rachel Weisz, yeah. Not that the actress that took her place was bad or anything. It just kind of I lost a step, and then the kid's grown up, and it just yeah. it feels like they jumped the shark a little bit. 
a little bit. I feel like there was something there. Jet Li, big fan. I, you know, there's something there. I just don't, I don't, I, yeah. I lost it with the Yetis. Yeah, yeah. Didn't quite do it for me. No. Uh, So one and two, definitely, though. Yeah, absolutely. One and two, great movies. Yes. Uh, Next we have uh, The Dirty Dozen. Love it. Great movie. Yes. Uh, And really one of the first kind of team up movies. Yeah. Sort of the uh the um what what is it? The uh the unmentionables? Uh the the, the, the untouchables? Uh, no. The Magnus No, the, I'm talking about the Sylvester Stallone movies that they keep making with all the action stars in it. The expendables? The expendables, thank you. That's just like the unmentionables. It is. Yeah. Uh but <laughs> I was trying to be funny in the process of making the joke, I forgot the actual title. <laughs> <laughs> The Expendables uh, is kind of based, and and the Avengers in the same way is based on kind of this because at the time when they made the Dirty Dozen, yeah, they took all of the action stars of the day mm-hmm. and put them together in a movie. Makes sense, and it's great. Absolutely, um, and absolutely, it's uh, a precursor also to Inglorious Bastards. Yeah, uh, which is also a really good movie. Yeah. Um, Although not on this list, uh, it pr- probably should be on the drama list. I would think so. Um, but anyway, next we have Silverado. Mm-hmm. Um, I love a Kevin Klein. You do. I uh, I love a Brian Dennehy. You do. I love a Linda Hunt. You sure a do. A Jeff Goldblum, a Danny oh. Glover. American heroes. Yes, and a Kevin Costner. So, you know, you can't and a an Scott American, Glenn. You can't have an American movie without a yeah, Kevin Costner. Yeah, yeah. Right, um, but all of those, believe it or not, all of those people are in this movie, yeah. and 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 there's a lot of people that haven't seen it, but it's a great western. It is. Um, it's really really good. It's quotable. It's uh, it's fantastic. Uh, do you want to take a few? Sure. Okay. Throwing it my way. Uh, okay, okay. Young Guns one. Yep, just one, just one. Not Young Guns two, where Billy the Kid mysteriously comes back to life. Yeah, That's strange. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but Young Guns one, great. Um. Although I will say Young Guns 2 had a much better soundtrack than Young Guns 1. Yeah, I agree. Um, but this was another kind of that followed in the footsteps of the Dirty Dozen, where it took kind of all of the big stars. Yeah. This is a Brat Pack, but it took all of them and put them in a movie. Yeah. I don't know. Is Lou Diamond Phillips in the Brat Pack? I think so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's a nice guy, too. Yeah. I mean, he was La Bumba. Wait, mm-hmm. no. Not La Bumba. No, he was in La Bumba. He was in La Bumba. He was um, the main character. Yeah. yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, the the only fire fire movie on this list, uh, backdraft. Yeah. Oh, you're bouncing all over the place. Yeah. Backdraft. I? Yeah. Oh, I skipped, did. You skipped eight, nine. Oh shit! I skipped a whole bunch of them. But that's all right. Well, these back, aren't in any. These are not in any particular order, yeah. by the way. But backdraft was always a fun one. Yeah. Um, enjoyed everything about that movie. Uh, which Baldwin was that one? That was Alec. That, that was Alec. Alec. Yeah. No, not Alec. Uh, Steven. No, yeah. Billy. Billy. Billy, it's Billy Baldwin. God, I get confused. Wrong. Yeah, I don't know my Baldwins. Not nearly as well as I know my Scars card. You are a big Scars card fan. I am a Scars card fan. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So, that is Billy Baldwin. Yeah. And Kurt Russell. And Kurt Russell. And Scott Glenn. Yeah. Great. Very, very great. Okay. Uh, Die Hards. But, yeah. just the first three. Just the first three. Yes. So, Die Hard 1, Die Hard 2, and Die Hard with a Vengeance. Yes. Yeah. That's the one with Samuel L. Jackson. That is the one with Samuel L. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, what's twenty one out of forty two? <laughs> yep. I'm pretty oh, sure uh, it's Warren G. Harding. No, it is. Not, is it Warren G. Harding? No. No. Who's the other guy? I don't know. Anyway, okay. Dirty Harry. Yes. One. Yes. I don't know if I would include all the Dirty Harry. No, 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 no. The, the one though. I, yeah. th- I think so. I mean, we could get into like all the spaghetti westerns and all of that, and that would just be too much. That'd go on forever. Um, but uh, yeah, Dirty Harry definitely. Yeah. Just if if for anything, just just the line. Uh, but ironically, he doesn't ever say, "Do you feel lucky?" Mom? No, he doesn't. No, he says, uh, "You got to ask yourself, do I feel lucky?" Well, do you, punk? Yeah, that's the line. Thank you for clarifying that. Yeah, well, well I you know, that's what we do. You know, that's who we are. Yep. Okay. Uh, lethal weapons. We could say all of them. Yes. Uh, all of them that have been made so far. Yeah, well, allegedly they're making a new one. They are making I, I don't know how it's, it's, on, the I, it's on the it. IMDb's. I don't know how he's going to Maybe he's like the, the captain, or not the captain. He's already a captain, but maybe he's but like he's the retired. chief. How many but maybe he's the chief of police. Well, he didn't. he's retired like three times. Look, I know maybe Mel he's Gibson. A private, can... Maybe he's a private detective. That's true. Who does like, uh, just does like, takes pictures of 
in infidelitist husbands. He's just a PI. And then and then um and then Martin Riggs, who's still a cop, uh goes and takes him gets him to help him do a case Kippy. or something. I know Mel Gibson still has it in him to do this. Uh and he's he's uh he's made his great awakening, I guess, or great comeback, whatever we're gonna call it. But um I'm interested to see what's gonna happen. Are they gonna bring back Joe Pesci? Maybe. Uh what about Renee Russo? Is she gonna come back for this? I would bring her back. Yeah. I don't know. We'll yeah, she's great. We'll Chris Rock. Happens. They could bring Chris Rock back. Oh shit. Yeah, he was Detective Butters. That's right, he was. Hot damn. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh I mean, the dog's on. probably dead. Yeah, that's true. Uh now, Jack Ryan. The Jack Ryan universe. Yes. I think we could call it Jack Ryan. There are, yeah, there are so many movies and shows yeah. that are in the Jack Ryan universe. Yeah. Um there's it's great. It's a great uh I think the one that started this, right, was The Hunt for Red October. Yes, that was the first movie. Yeah. Um and then um and then there's like Patriot Games and uh all of those. Yeah. Uh and um there's there's so many and then there's uh, Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit which was Chris Pine mm-hmm. and he was actually playing Jack Ryan Jr. I believe in that. Yeah. Um and then um yeah. It's and then they have the series on Amazon with John Krasinski. Yep. Which is great. Okay. It was great. It's over now. There were three ended, seasons. Yeah. yeah, it ended. Yeah. Uh but yeah, it's great and the books are really good. Um and I'm screwing up the list again. That's fine. I don't know why I keep telling it that I'm you know, to dictate. You just like to talk into the list. I do, apparently. That's fair. Yeah. Okay, so uh, this one, this next one, is... Uh, it changed movies forever, I would say. Yeah. Right? The MCU. Mm-hmm. Right? The Marvel Cinematic I, It completely changed the way I think movies are made. Yeah. There, if you think about it, some of these characters yeah. have more screen time yeah theatrical screen time mm-hmm. than uh, than any other characters any yeah. other film characters yeah. obviously there's tv characters like you know that have so many hours you know when there's a show like bart simpson has 35 34 seasons yeah of you know 20 something episodes at 30 minutes a yeah. piece so i mean but that's just a character that's been on tv a bunch but the character doesn't really get developed right because he yeah. never ages and he never changes yeah um but there are some characters on, on seasons that have been around for 10, 12 years yeah. that have hours and hours. But as far as movies go, there have been, you know, Iron Man and Captain America. Those characters, those original characters have been yeah. in more movies right, than pretty much any other character, including I, like a James Bond. Yeah. Who's been played by so many different actors. And everything. So I would say, I would say the movies. Well, OK, so the MCU created the whole universe concept. Yeah. Now everyone has a universe concept that they're running with. Um, but the movies themselves don't feel like sequels. They feel like the continuation of the same story. Yeah. Over. Yeah. And, and that's really what it's about is, is keeping the story going on for longer and longer. And it spawns so many different things. Yeah. You have TV shows, you have specials, you have, uh, all kinds of shit. Oh, animated shows. Yeah. And all, yeah. All yeah. kinds of different things. So everything about it is just fun. It's yep. just fun. It would take, you know weeks to get through all the content if you well, don't watch I mean them. yeah I mean I I don't know how many like somebody figured out that with like the, the Lord of the Rings or yeah. whatever like you can watch them all in a 24 hour period yeah. or something like that but this would be so much more than yeah that. so much more than that I mean it's over 10 years of movies at uh, you know two or three a, a year a year and several series yeah now they are slowing it down right yes. the MCU is getting slowed down because next year Deadpool 3 is going to be the only MCU movie that's coming out so far allegedly yeah but i'm just saying that's currently what they're saying but who they've changed things their calendar so many times yeah although i did hear that they are supposed to start filming the first family of marvel uh in january uh all of the fantastic four yeah so that'll be fun i don't think they've they've cemented yet who's gonna be the last i heard it was uh america's daddy is playing reed richards Pedro pascal yeah but they haven't picked anyone else yet for the Sue yeah. Storm or Johnny Storm or Ben Grimm. It's tough. It is a, it is a, they've tried it several times and they've been successful half a time. Sort of. I mean, Chris Evans was a great Johnny Storm. Yeah. Um, that may be the only appropriate casting that I've really enjoyed. You didn't like Michael Chiklis as the thing? He was, he was actually not bad. Yeah. Ben Grimm, Michael Chiklis as Ben Grimm was pretty good. I would include him in good, good casting. 
Um, and not that everyone else in that movie did bad. Jessica Alba was not bad as Sue Storm, but I just wouldn't. That's not who I picked. No. Uh, so I, those movies felt kind of cheesy too. Yeah, they were, but that's still when comic book movies were more comic booky. Yeah, you know, and it's kind of we, they've sort of grown up a little bit since. Then. I'm I'm hoping if we see Galactus at any point, he actually looks like Galactus and not a shadow uh, silhouette in a storm cloud. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That would be nice. <laughs> <That'd> be nice. <laughs> okay. All right, moving on. Uh, speaking of superheroes, uh, the Christopher Reeve Superman movies, Superman yeah. 1 and 2. 1 and 2. 3 uh, is uh, a movie that I absolutely love with Richard Pryor. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. It, it's a little cheesy. Yeah. It's, it's a little cheesy. Uh, it's fun. It's a fun romp. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's. It, I don't think it's list worthy. How do you feel about the one with John Cryer? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. What about the one with uh, a nuclear man? Yeah, no, we're not. Talking about that. Okay, that doesn't exist. All right, I got gotcha. you. Don't sully the man's memory. What about the one with the Flash and Christopher Reeves and what's her name? Uh, oh, no, Nicholas Cage is Superman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, but that's a Flash movie. That's not a Superman. Big movie. ass spider at the end of yeah, the movie. Yeah, that was that. That was the best part of that movie, as far as I'm concerned. I would agree with spider. Okay. 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 Yeah. Uh, moving on. Yes. Uh, another Richard. Donner movie. Uh huh. The Goonies. Yes. Classic. So Excellent. much of a classic movie. Such a good movie. Such a great movie. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's got a Corey in it. it does, uh, well, it's got one Corey. Yeah. One Corey. Corey one Feldman. Sean Astin. Yeah, one Sean Astin. Uh, Absolutely. One Josh Brolin. Uh huh. Very young Josh Brolin, by the way. Yes. Very young Josh yeah. Brolin. Yeah. Um, and it's got, um, oh my God, I'm forgetting his name. He's like had a resurgence. The, the kid that plays Data in it. Uh, Kehi. Juan? Yes, who is now, you know, he was in um, Loki. He did Loki. Um, and he was in Everything All, Everywhere. All at once. All at once. Yep. And won um, his Oscar for that. Yeah. It just great. And he was in Indiana Jones. He's on the list twice. Yeah. Well, that's right. He was short run. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, um, some of these movies I like more than others. Yeah. Uh, and that's the, the Road Warrior trilogy. Yes. Right. Uh, and then you could also include Mad Max Fury Road in this. Mm -hmm. Um, I would say Mad Max Two is better than Mad Max One. Yeah, it's really interesting. I heard a story about Mad Max One. Uh -huh. uh, I was like an old video. I think he was on uh, Mel Gibson was on like the Graham Norton show or something like that, and they were interviewing him. And he had uh, the night before he had his audition. Sure, he was at a bar and he got a little bit drunk, uh -huh. and he ended up getting in a fight. I think, and okay. he showed up to that with a big black eye, nice. and basically that got him the job because they wanted somebody for that movie that was kind of like rough and tumble yeah that had been through it and stuff like that yeah and i thought it was just an interesting story um yeah i mean two is definitely the road warrior yeah is definitely uh i i enjoyed it more yeah. than mad max uh however they brought the villain from mad max back for fury road which I thought was awesome. I thought that was a smart move. Yeah. Right? Well, same actor, different different character, but same yeah. actor. Uh, and I thought that was great. Um, so I really enjoyed it. I thought Tom Hardy made a great uh, Mad Max. Yeah. Um, and it, I mean, they're all great. Tina uh, Turner. Amazing. So uh, Hollywood is start supposed to start making the Furiosa prequel. Yeah. Here pretty soon. Uh, Charlize Theron will not be playing Furiosa. Yeah, that's unfortunate. The younger version of Furiosa. Yeah, I, I mean, I get it because it's much younger version. Yeah, uh, I don't know who's playing her, but I just um, want to see her how she loses her arm. Yeah, that'd be nice to see. But cool. I, I thought she did an amazing job, yeah. Furiosa. And if they if they pick it up where it left off, I definitely would like to see her play that character. Yeah. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, so good. Okay, uh, now we're gonna venture into some Disney films here. Mm -hmm. uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Yep, all of them. Yeah. Um, Johnny Depp is in talks to do another one. Really? Yeah. He had swore that he never would. In fact, uh, in court papers, he has, it's, it's documented that he said for $300 million and a whole farm full of alpacas, he wouldn't do it. Well, uh, apparently everyone has a price. Yeah. I'm not saying that Johnny Depp does. Yeah. But maybe it's two farms of alpacas. Could be. Uh, I think he said he'll do it if they get a public apology. If he gets oh. a public apology from Disney for firing him. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. I could see them doing that. Yeah. Uh, and then the National Treasures movies. Yeah. Uh, not so much the National Treasures series. That was kind of a letdown a little yeah. bit. Yeah. I mean, it was... It was... Meh. 
I wanted to you know, see Nicolas Cage show up in that. I really show. did. I really did. That would have been or cool. at least at the very least, like John Voight. Yeah. Or as much of a fan of John Voight, I am not. Uh, on, on like a outside of movies, he's a good actor. But yeah, the character itself is fun. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, okay. Uh, now, um, we just watched this movie this past weekend. Yeah, we did. Point Break holds up. Absolutely holds up so well. Yeah, <laughs> really, better than it should possibly. Everyone, everyone who was watching it all said the same line. Yeah, I am an FBI yeah. agent. <laughs> um, yeah, it's such a good movie. I did you see the remake of it? Yeah, it was so bad. I I don't. I think I've blocked it out of my memory because I feel like I saw it. it was, I have no memory of it whatsoever. It was kind of uh, Mission Impossible esque. Yeah, and like Da Vinci Code esque. Yeah. And I'm it, afraid they're going to make a series. Okay. They've been doing that so much. They've been taking like you know '90s movies that were really successful, yeah. and making a series out of it. Well, you could do like a whole like FBI crime thing around this one, which but the movie is so good; it stands yeah. up on its own. I wouldn't. I wouldn't you get mess the with Red that. Hot Chili Peppers in it. You got yeah. Uh, and who would have thought that we would be talking about this movie? You know what? Twenty, thirty years later. Thirty years later. Thirty years later, and uh, and. Patrick Swayze would be the one that was dead, and Gary Busey's still around. Yeah, no shit. Believe it or not. That guy. Wow. He does not like buttered sausage. Don't ask him. Yeah. That's not his jam. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> he's so scary. Uh, um, so, What's up with his eyes? He's got one eye that just doesn't work. Well, I, I think it just quit. It, <laughs> it, just, gave, it just gave up. It's just like, I'm done with this you shit. You ever watch him blink? Only one eye blinks. Yeah. The other eye is... Like I don't know. I, sometimes I think he's really nuts, and sometimes I think that he's... This is like a character that he's been doing. Like, I feel like he's going to come out and, like, be on a show or have a cameo in a movie and be, like, totally normal. Well, after this movie... Right, okay, so he was in his motorcycle accident before this movie. Yes. Right? Before mm-hmm. Point Break. And he wasn't... He, he didn't seem like he lost his mind yeah. at that point. No, he didn't seem like he had, and now he's batshit. Yeah. That poor guy, man. Yeah, he's I had a rough life. I don't. Mm, yeah, I don't know. I do actually like a lot of the films that his sons and Jake Busey. Oh yeah, me too. He's yeah. in a lot of movies that I. He's in Frighteners. Oh, he's such great a good in that movie. movie. Yeah, such a good movie. Yeah, definitely on the horror list. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, oh yeah, the next one. Yes. I mean, yeah. You can't have an action adventure list without Big Trouble in Little China. Yes, unless it's a list of movies not to see. Yeah. Then you wouldn't want to put this on it. What? The, yeah, you would not want to put this movie on a list of movies not to see. See this movie. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying see this movie. <laughs> I just went cross-eyed there. I'm not sure I was going to turn into Gary Busey. For a second. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Um, but yeah, Big Trouble in Little China. Everything about this movie is great. Yes. Even the monsters were so good. Oh yeah, yeah. And and it's and the special effects are not the best. Well, they hold up to, but though. they're but they're still enjoyable. Well, you know why they're enjoyable? It's because they're not crappy CGI generated. No, they're practical. Yeah, they're for practical. the most part, uh, they're puppets. Still. I mean, the old, no, no, no. I'm talking about like the CGI when David Lopan like phases through a wall or whatever. Okay, that was weird. That's. I mean, it's not CGI. It's not computer. They did it like with a you know overlapping of yeah films but uh they did it not they didn't post but in camera yeah um but yeah it's such a good movie yeah kim cattrall yeah kurt russell yeah just great just absolutely great movie yeah. um yeah you okay. should definitely see it all right you should continue now okay so we have one entry but it's like what multiple films yeah it's five movies yeah uh and that's for batman Yes. So there have been so many Batman movies. Yeah. Uh, but we think that you go Tim Burton Batman. So that's Batman and Batman Returns. Yes. The first two. Yes. Then we pretend that the next, what, three movies didn't happen. Look, the ones that Joel Schumacher made, he said he made them to sell toys. Yeah. It, well, and he... Yeah. And, he, and also to have close-ups of rubber butts. Which is weird. Yeah. Um, when we really know a lot about Joel Schumacher, it's not that surprising, but it is weird. Um, but yeah, so we're ignoring those movies and then we're picking it up with the Chris Nolan. Yes. Uh, Batman trilogy. Yeah. Um, which is amazing. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Changed the character of the Joker forever. Yeah. 
uh, and just did a, I mean, because up until uh, then, um, up until Heath Ledger played the Joker, yeah, which to me is the definitive Joker, yeah. Um, Jack Nicholson was considered to be the best Joker. He was his was a great Joker. His and it was he was he played a great Joker, and the the way Tim Burton did it was so different than it had been done and has been done since. It was comic booky, but not like but yeah. grounded in reality, but not. And yeah. it was just great. The soundtrack for the first one was all Prince. Yeah. So I mean, you can't beat that. No. And just I mean, it's just great. Um, absolutely. Uh, both both sets of films very different, but both very true to the source material. Yeah. Yeah. I and like really honestly stay away from the Joel Schumacher. Yeah, movies. don't. And and the only reason we haven't included the 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 newest one, the Robert yeah. Pattinson, the Batman, because it although I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um it's not there yet as far as they need to they need to flush it out a little bit with It needs one or two more movies. Yeah, and yeah, it needs to I mean and they're working on them. Yeah. Uh, so it'll happen and then perhaps we'll add that to the list at that point. It's just not ready yet. I actually enjoyed Paul Daniel as the uh... Riddler. Yeah, was, I thought he did an great. Interesting take on it. Yeah, and I and it, I like I didn't realize it until about halfway through the movie who he was. So yeah. it was. I mean, I obviously I need the Riddler, but I didn't know who was the Riddler, oh, and okay. so I thought that that was really good. Yeah. Um, Top Gun is the next entry. Top Gun one, one, two. While a fine movie, yeah, I thought it leaned too heavily on the original. Yeah, well. and I thought that I didn't. So Le- damn near forty year spread between those movies. Yeah, well, yeah, but I mean, they lean they lean too heavily on the plot oh, of yeah. the original. Same plot. Um, you know, well, just the whole they took the the volleyball scene and turned it into a football scene, well, but it's it basically beach but it was football. basically the same scene, and just I mean, so much of it was the same. It's and team it just, building. Yeah, pass. Um, and then the fact that they never named who the enemy was that bothered me actually. At at, at no point if. Check it out because at no point in the film do they say it's Russia or Iran or Iraq or whoever, Syria. They imply certain things, and I know people who have like tried to figure out based on okay, well, it's ocean because they come off of the ocean to the country, it's yeah. mountains that are on ocean, so it could be this one or it could be that one, and they kind of narrow it down. But still, the only two reasons I can think of, I don't know why they didn't do that, but the only two reasons I can think of is one, they were worried about offending some country. Mm-hmm. Uh, and maybe the Navy, because the Navy is super heavily involved in the making of these films. Yeah. Uh, so maybe they told them, said, hey, we don't want you to say that we're fighting Russia. Or yeah. we don't want you to say that we're fighting, you know, because of some international incident. Sure. Or the other option being that they're concerned about eliminating a potential market for the film. Could be. Because if, you know, if you make Russia the bad guy, then maybe Russia won't want to air put the movie in their theaters. It's all about money. So I don't know, but either of those reasons are upsetting to me. So that's why, but for those reasons, I'm not. At least they named it. the bad guy in the first one. Yeah, it was Russia. Yeah. Okay, the next one, Commando. The Arnold one? The Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. I, I, I looked at a lot of, thought about a lot of Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. Predator, that's a horror yeah. movie, I think. Um, uh, I thought about uh, Total Recall. Yeah. Which could be definitely on the list. Well, Total Recall is kind of a unique, yeah, the original movie. Total Recall, yeah. Um, and but Commando is such the sort of the quintessential Arnold movie. What about Conan? Yeah, but I, so many people. I don't. I don't think enough people have seen it. Okay. What about Hercules in New York? Okay. You and I may be the only people <laughs> in North America that have seen that movie. You know who didn't do that movie? Arnold. Ar- well, he didn't do his voice. <laughs> Wasn't his voice. Yeah, it's really weird to watch him do dubbed, be dubbed by some, I don't know. But I would agree, Commando's great. Yeah, Commando is really good. I recently rewatched that one, yeah. and I was like, holy cow, this is this is fun. Yeah, it's a, it's a fun movie. We need movies like that, again. Like, movies that are, are quick, quick romps. Yeah. Maybe 90 or 100 minutes long. Mm-hmm. You don't have to think about it. Yeah. It's really obvious what's happening. The plot points are super basic, but you're just in there watching someone just kill a bunch of bad guys. Yeah, well, time. and it's, I mean, there are movies that are sort of that, that would yeah. fit that bill, but they're so heavy, which, yeah. it, you know, that's that's actually on the list. It's not the next one, but we'll skip ahead. 
uh, because it works. And that's John Wick. Yeah. That's kind of what John Wick is, but it's super heavy. It is heavy. Like there's no, I mean, there's a couple of quips, but it's not like, like Commando is like, oh, quippy. Yeah. You know, like he has the bad guy and he's holding him up by his neck over the cliff and he drops him. Yeah. And then they go, oh, where did the bad guy go? And he goes, I let him go. You know, yeah. it's like, it, those are funny, you know, it's yeah. kind of a, they're the funny, quippy, lighthearted, although very violent and lots of dead bad guys. Yeah. But like John Wick is very emotionally driven. Yes. Right? And it's super heavy. He's doing these things for a reason. And let's be honest, I mean, all of Arnold's movies are basically the same thing. Mm -hmm. All the John Wick movies are all the same thing. Yeah. You know? But it's, it's just, it's emotionally draining and it's heavy. It's not lighthearted at all. No. Uh, so I think what you're saying, if I'm hearing you correctly, is that we need sort of these lighthearted action adventure, violent but lighthearted movies. Yeah. Yeah. With, you know, periodic boobs. Yeah, yeah. yeah occasional side boob yeah yeah i'm in yeah yeah where is that yeah we need to we need to bring those back <laughs> uh okay so the next movie uh is on here and this was kind of a do we put it on the sci-fi list do we put it on the action adventure list but it's on the action adventure list and it's a fifth element i love this movie like, this is I love such a great this movie. movie yeah everything about this movie is great it really is lupus on if you have not watched any of his movies or, yeah. or or many of his movies yeah really the entire catalog is worth checking out. yeah uh la femme nikita one of my very early favorite sort of art films mm -hmm. uh they made a remake of it i think was no way out yeah uh with bridget fonda and and um yeah and uh but the original french you can mm -hmm. watch it subbed or dubbed uh, is really, really good. Yeah. That, the original was made by Luke Besson. The No Way Out was not. Yeah. Um, and then we have The Professional. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there was actually a new one that was, oh, I forget the new, the, 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 it's relatively new. And it was, the guy's name started with a V and it was, and the, and the, the, the world of a thousand planets or something like that. Uh, Valerian. Valerian. Uh, that's Luke Besson as well. Is it? I didn't know that. Um, yeah. And it's, um, it's not his best work, but it's good. You know, I would say... Very reminiscent of Fifth Element, actually. Right, but Fifth Element is the one that everyone knows. No, and that's why that's the only one that's on the list. Yeah. Uh, but it's really, uh, really good. Bruce Willis at his Bruce Willis best. Oh, yeah, totally. Um, and um, Mila Jovovich. Yes. Uh, incredible. Yes. Yeah, everybody. Even Tiny Lister. Yeah. As the president of the world. So that was hilarious. Which is a great casting choice, as far as I'm <laughs> concerned. Just incredible. Chris yeah. Tucker. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, I mean. This is fun. Yeah. Just just really fun movie. And yeah. Uh, okay. So we had the MCU. Yes. And so because this is sort of, now it's kind of been retconned into the MCU. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's at the time that it was made, it was not. Yes. Uh, and that's the Spider-Man movies that were made by Sam Raimi. Yeah. Uh, or the Tobey Maguire movies, if you will. Yes. Um, I prefer to categorize them as Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies because they're filmed in such the quintessential Sam oh, Raimi such style. A Sam Raimi style. He has a distinct style, almost more than most other directors. Yeah. Um that are you know because his style you can pick it out if you've never seen a movie uh one of his movies and you've seen it i mean if you've seen his movies but you haven't seen this other movie yeah um you'd be like oh this is clearly a sam raimi movie like if you've seen all the spider-man movies but then i showed you army of darkness yeah you'd be like oh well this is clearly sam well raimi. the biggest tell is if bruce campbell's in it that yes that is a big <laughs> tell um and he also did uh um the Multiverse of Madness. Yes. Also Sam Raimi. Uh, same style. Also very Bruce Campbell. Very horror esque. Yeah. Um, and great. Bruce Campbell also in that movie. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's definitely. Um, those are good movies. They're worth it. They, it. It's kind of these, those movies bridge the gap for Marvel from the uh, super comic booky style to what we now know today as the MCU. Yeah. I think it really did kind of bridge that gap. Yeah. I would agree. Um, and then we have Dune. Dune. So, I would say the newest one more than the original. The Kyle McLaughlin? Yeah, original. Kyle McLaughlin, Sting. 
Yeah, I would say so too. Right? Um, yeah. Timothy the Timothy Chalamet, Chalamet uh, Zendaya. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just great. Oscar Isaacs. Yeah. Uh, Dave Batista. There's a Skarsgård. There is a Skarsgård. Yes. The, dad, the next movie is supposed to have two Skarsgårds. Yeah. You know what? The, the my other critique of this movie, mm-hmm. Dune, is just felt a little slow. And maybe that's just me. It it did, it. but it's. I mean, the book. That's how the book reads. Well, the book is uh, obnoxiously boring. Yeah, it's a bazillion pages. It, well, the, and there's like seven hundred of them. Yeah. Uh. So you know what? It is what it is. It's it's worth watching. It's really. I'm good. excited for the next one because he's gonna ride a sandworm, and I think that's gonna be real bitching. Yeah, they almost had a somebody. There was somebody that was about to ride a sandworm, and the whole audience is like, "You're just gonna ride a sandworm," and then she gets killed. Yeah. Which I was bummed. I was bummed. Uh, so Timothy Chalamet. Now I hope they don't follow the the line of the books because the books get trippy. Yeah. Like Timmy Timothy Chalamet's character in the novels mm-hmm. eventually turns into a sandworm. Yeah. Which is really weird. Yeah. So I, who knows what they're gonna do? I I mean I think judging by the pacing of the movie, I if they make enough movies to get there, uh, which is probably unlikely. Um. They they seem to be following the books pretty, you know. Spice will do it to you. Yeah, too much spice gives you the blue eyes. Hey kids, stay off the spice. Uh, or don't you know? Whatever, whatever. Uh, so so that and then lastly, yeah, to to round out the list nicely. Yes, we have uh, Deadpool one uh, and two. You know, and upcoming three. I'm yeah. I'm gonna preemptively put Deadpool three up. Okay, I'm with you. Yeah, let's put it on there. I haven't seen, have obviously we haven't seen the movie yet. No, but I am really excited for this. They movie. just restarted filming. Yeah. Because they had paused filming for the strike. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm super excited about it. I mean, Ryan Reynolds' interpretation of this character is great. The only reason this movie was made, by the way, is because someone may or may not have been Ryan Reynolds released it, some it test was, footage. It was definitely Ryan Reynolds. Released some test footage on the internet. Yes. That was just, it was fun. Yeah. It was great. It was genius. Yeah. And he liked the character. Yeah. He's a Canadian yeah superhero a? not unlike ryan reynolds himself true kind of an anti-hero yeah canadian i don't think he's ryan reynolds is an anti-hero i mean a little bit a little bit he's a little bit he, he's a little bit um he'll speak his mind even if he's if he has something to say that he isn't necessarily well he's everyone's canadian uh smart ass yeah friend. yeah yeah exactly he's great i yeah. i you know i'm a big fan yeah i'm a big fan of ryan reynolds yeah and and this next one has hugh jackman coming up in it yeah uh, um, in in the original X Men uniform, the the yellow and the black and all that, the shit. yellow and brown, yeah, and or the yellow and blue, yeah, uh, yeah, that that is that's actually one of the things when they when they were courting him, yeah, and he said, well, what's his suit gonna look like? They said, hey, are you interested in coming back for Warriors? What is the suit? And he said, are you gonna do the you know the original? Or are you gonna do the yellow and blue? Yeah, and and they were like, yeah, yeah, we are. And he goes, I'm in. Allegedly. Supposedly, that's what he said. Allegedly, Deadpool three is going to make everything canon, which would be awesome. Yeah, um, that would that would be great. I mean, there are they are retconning stuff that they had at one point in time said that, like for instance, Agent Carter. Yeah, was was removed yeah. from from canon. It's retcon. It's yeah. back in. You know, we'll see what happens. Maybe yeah. this will bring everything together. Maybe we'll finally have the 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 grouping of superheroes that we did not get. In in uh, Avengers Endgame, mm-hmm. you know, maybe Batman will show up. Maybe we'll I, get RoboCop. Yeah, I don't. No, I don't. You know, I don't think potentially that, we're going to. I'm end not up sure with that. I don't think Batman. All 27 makes versions of Superman. Uh, I, I don't West think. I don't think. No, I don't think here. that's no. Luke Sky, uh, Skywalker is going to show up. Anakin uh, and Darth will both be. I mean, I, Luke Skywalker, Anakin, and Darth is more possible than Batman. Look, I'm just telling you what I Because at least they're all owned by Disney. Look, your Powerpuff Girls are going to be there. That, probably not. Ben 10? Uh, I don't even know who that maybe, is. Maybe 9. Okay. Uh, 9 of the 10. The Avatar characters. That's Disney. You know, Ong, as as, as M. Night Shyamalan called him. Mm-hmm. Everyone else called him Aang. Yeah. But M. Night Shyamalan called him Ong. So look, yeah. all these people are going to show up in this movie, Chris. We'll see. Literally everyone. Yeah, I don't think so. All of the Green Lanterns are going to be there. I think none of the Green Lanterns are going to be there. Mark except... Strong's Green Lantern is going to show up. 
and he's going to be yellow again, and then he's going to go back to green. That's not he's green, Lance. He throw, yeah. then he's going to do a shade That's of Sinestro pink, and he's uh, always been his head is pink, his face is pink. Look, I'm just telling but you what's his, happening. Yeah, no, that's. Uh, I was told Gollum's going to be there. <laughs> Samwise is going to show up. No, like, yeah, this no, is, it's real life. Uh, no, yeah. I mean, maybe we'll get Cable again. That'd be cool. I like Josh Brolin's Cable. I thought that was yeah. Cool. Oh, I think that yeah, we're back in reality. Yes, I think that is definitely a possibility. I was one hundred percent in reality the whole time. <laughs> I don't know where you were. Uh, not in your reality. <laughs> Maybe we'll have... I reject your reality and replace it with my own. That's Maybe we'll have the, the, the singing. Uh, what, what year was that? The Did singing the, detective. The singing detective will show up. Detective uh, Pikachu. Yeah, that's actually a Ryan Reynolds character. It so that could potentially. I wouldn't. I would imagine it. No. You know, I'm, 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 everyone's going to be there. That's a hard pass for me. Look, everyone's going to be there. It's going to be a party. They're all going to take down Doctor Doom. Who's now best okay, friend? Now, you're hurting. Now, you're, now you're hurting my feelings. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I will tell you what, though. If MCU ever gets to the point where they're doing Doctor Doom, I'm all in. There, I believe that Doctor Doom is supposed to be the next big bad after Kang. I mean, he's like in the that, comics, that's, he's the biggest bad. Oh yeah, and that's what I've heard that that is the direction that they're going. That's going to be what Phase Seven. Really. Yeah, that Doctor Doom is the, in the next, you know, because we had the Infinity Saga, right? Yeah. And now we have the Kang Saga. Yeah. And I believe that Doctor Doom is going to be the big bad of the following saga. After, So that would be after uh, Secret Wars? Post-Secret Wars? Or maybe yeah. he comes... I mean, if they're doing... If they're filming Fantastic Four, yeah. he may be a villain in this... You know, he could be the villain of that film. Yeah. I think he has to be, right? Maybe. Depends on how big they go. It's still too early for Galactus. Yeah. Oh, way too early. Yeah. But Doctor Doom is the biggest bad. Yeah. And he would be the bitchinest character to oh, see. Oh, I would be so happy to see Doctor Doom. Yeah. Show up. But, uh... All right, enough of us uh, splooging on the yeah. house about it. <laughs> Ew. Um, but, uh, so... This is the part where we uh, ask you to like and subscribe, mm -hmm. to follow us on our socials. Yeah. Uh, they're all the same. It's at CRT's pod. Please. On whatever. C-Y-O-U-R-T-S-P-O-D. Yeah. Um, if you have an idea or if you have changes to the, the list you'd like to make, yeah. you can definitely leave them there. Sure. Uh, get a hold of us there or on the TikToks, TikTok. on the Instagrams. TikTok, TikTok. Um, and to give your dog a bone. Okay. Uh, and so uh, we need to come up with Mr. Rogers' homework. Assignment. Yeah, we do. We have Mr. Rogers' homework assignment. Uh, next week, we are going to be doing our Christmas list. We have to. Yeah. Well, because, you know, you, you officially, uh, although I have started to watch some Christmas movies. We all have. Um, you officially have to start watching them um, Thursday. Friday. Well, the Christmas time officially begins. Yeah. As soon as Santa appears in the Macy's, Macy's Parade, okay, so. which is like uh, 11 o'clock Pacific. Yeah. Um, is when it airs, because it's like 9 to 11, I think, is, sure. is when it airs. So, sure. I mean, that's if you're here on the on the West Coast where we are, then it would be 11 o'clock. But if you're on the East Coast, then it would be 11 o'clock there, because sure. it's, it's on a delay here. But show. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that's when Christmas time officially starts. So that evening, after when you're sitting around after post-football, yeah. And you're in your turkey coma. Yep. Uh, throw on Elf Yippee. or um, the Santa Claus. It's a little early for a Christmas story. Yeah, I think so. Although I did watch it. Oh, you watched it? Already? I watched it. And, and you know what else? I watched uh, A Christmas Story Christmas. The second one? The updated one. Wow. And there is a second one with uh, Daniel Stern in it. Oh, I not that one. No, I haven't seen that one. And I probably won't. But it was hard for me. It was yeah. very hard for me. Yeah. yeah. Christmas Story Christmas. Yeah. It was particularly hard. It was a good movie. Well, I, that one was I, all I about was, his dad. Yeah, it was about his relationship with his dad and his dad dying and all that stuff. And it's, you know, it was like, my we just had the anniversary of my dad's birthday. And it was, yeah, it was a thing. thing. It's a thing. So I'm still working through it. But uh, yeah, right. it's, so that one was hard for me to get through. But it was really good. Okay, so what's the homework assignment? So the homework assignment is to watch... We should get them an obscure Christmas movie. An obscure Christmas movie. What's an obscure Christmas movie? 
Um, there's, I mean, there's not really any really obscure ones. Okay. Do you have one? Kind of. Okay. It's not often watched. It's kind of weird. Uh-huh. It's not weird, weird, but it's fun, weird. Yeah. Go watch Four Christmases. So okay. It's yeah. Fun. Yeah. And Reese Witherspoon. Yeah, I saw that it popped up when I was looking for Christmas movies yeah. to watch. Yeah, Four Christmas. Not Definitely. a lot of people have watched it. Yeah, but go watch it. It's on our list. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So I think that's the that's your go. homework. Watch Four Christmases with Vince Vaughn. Yes, please. And uh, I don't know where it's. We should tell them where it's streaming. Oh, fine. Really quickly. Oh, did you see that they changed IMDb? Did they? Yeah, where well, IMDb will tell you with stuff streaming now. No shit. Yeah, so we can we may be able to get away with. Oh, oh. yeah. Just watch. Just broke down on me. So while we sit here and we're we're looking up where Four Christmas is available, um, it uh, and we sit here and try to fill the time. Four Christmases is available. It's on the max. Is it on? Okay. It's so on, on the max. max, and it's always on TNT and TBS. Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, and you can you can rent it uh, for three ninety nine on Prime, and uh, yeah. So see how there oh, on nice. IMDb's it has a thing. Look at that go. Yeah, you go. IMDb's. Yeah. So yeah, rent uh, or watch or watch it for free on the Max. Uh, a couple struggles to visit uh, all four of their divorced parents on Christmas. So that's yeah. why, hence the four. Their both parents are divorced both and remarried both sets of parents are divorced and remarried so you have four households that they have to visit on christmas it says uh kristen chenoworth uh mary steam uh shit, what's american name? american treasure kristen chenoworth yes uh what's his uh, name uh robert duvall yes that's what i'm thinking um, and St- stacy spacek yes uh is one of the moms mm-hmm and or step and or step moms. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I just accidentally clicked on Stacey's. But there's a there's a funny scene in this movie where uh, his former best friend apparently is in a deep relationship with his mom. Oh yeah, which is a good time. So, John John Voight. Yeah. Uh, John Favreau. Yeah. Uh, Mary Steenburgen. Dwight Yoakam. Yeah. Another American treasure. Mm-hmm. Tim McGraw. Yeah. This chock a block full of country singers. Yeah. Uh, Kristen Chenoweth, uh, Katie Mixon, mm-hmm. uh, who's hilarious, um, Colleen Camp, and now I'm getting into You're getting uh, the weeds. Getting into the weeds a little bit. Let's see, uh, Skylar Gazondo, which uh, you may not know who he is, but uh, he's actually uh, he's really funny. He's in a lot of he's in the Shazam uh, movie, I think. Which one? The the good one or the not good one? Oh, maybe, maybe not. Hang on a second. Let me look. Because his face is, I'm trying to remember what he's in, but he's in, oh, he's in The Righteous Gemstones. Okay. Uh, he was in Licorice Pizza. Um, let me see. I'm sorry. This is terrible radio. This is great radio. Uh, this is, uh, I'm trying to think of what's the big thing. Oh, he was in uh, the Santa Maria, the, the Santa Clarita Diet. Santa Clarita Diet. He's the kid, the nerdy kid in Santa Clarita. Yeah. So he's been in a bunch of other stuff too. But uh, that was the one that I was trying to remember what he was. In. So it's fair. Watch Four Christmases. That's your homework, please. And if you don't do your homework, you're gonna get coal in your stocking. What if they don't celebrate? Then you'll get coal in your menorah. Da, da, da. Yeah, that's right. Okay, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for hanging out, y'all. We'll see ya. Peace.